Hey all, I've received a few messages lately on how I captured the Northern Lights at Rakova Towers, so I thought I'd make a little video to um, help you guys capture it. So here we go. Okay, so I have the uh, Space Weather Live app here. Um, it's an app that's available on Apple iPhone, Android, and I'm just at the moment using the Mac version just for the sake of this uh, demo. So the most common uh, number that people go by when they're tracking the Aurora is the uh, KP index. Uh, down in the southeast, you want at least a KP5. Um, but KP5 isn't just the only thing you need because um, if you look at this chart, you've got solar wind, density, and interplanetary magnetic field. So all of these charts need to be on the uh, higher side. So let's say four and a half upwards. Um, and this uh, BZ North chart, you want this to be south. Um, north would mean that it's pushing the uh, solar activity away from the Earth using the magnetic field. And south means it's pulling it in. So you could have a KP5, the solar wind density and interplanetary all high, but if the BZ is north, then you still won't see it because it's sort of bouncing off the magnetic field. So you want this uh, BZ north to be pulling south, and to uh, read it as south, it will be below zero, so minus two or minus four. So if the top three charts are high and you've got it south, then you've got a great chance of us capturing it on camera. Um, a lot of people in the south go out looking to see it by eye, but it's really, because we're so far away from it, it's really something that the camera can capture and um, you're not going to see it by eye like you would if you went to, say, Iceland. You might see a very faint amount of it, depending on the strength, but generally it's a, a activity that you want to take your camera for. Um, I use a full-frame Panasonic S5. Um, the general settings I have to capture it are ISO 2000, f2.8 and 8 to 10 second exposure. So, um, yeah, I tend to go to uh, Recolver Towers because that's 45 minutes from me. Um, but anywhere along that coastline facing north, um, you should be able to get it on the clear night with the uh, settings I've just mentioned. So, hope this helps those that have uh, messaged me and asked. And... Um, Good luck in uh, chasing it. It's great when you do capture it, obviously. I'll uh, end this video with a couple of time lapses that I've recently captured.